Domain and range are by far the most important concepts in functions and there is a very high likelihood that you would see a question based on them. What is a domain? In simple words, the domain of a function is a set of all possible input values. And what is the range of a function? The range is a set of all possible output values. The domain is the set of all values that go into the function and the range is the values that come out. So if we have a function like y is equal to f of x, the domain will be all possible values x can take and the range will be all possible values for y. Is there any good way to remember this? How do we remember that the domain is all possible input values and the range is all possible output values? Um, maybe something like d comes before r and x comes before y. Domain is x and the range is y. Okay, nice. Shall we try out a few examples now? The first function is f of x is equal to x. This function will simply give out the value it takes as the input. Instead of saying it does nothing, a better way of saying it would be the function multiplies the input by 1 and gives an output. Anyway, coming to the point, what will be the domain and the range of this function? Domain will be all the values x can take. In this function, x can take any value. Yes, just about any value. So the domain is all x. And the range, which is y or the output, can also take all values that x takes. So the range will be all y values. Here's the second function. f of x is equal to x squared. What will be the domain and the range of this function? Try it out. The input x can take any value. So the domain will be all x. The range is interesting. Will it be all y? It will be all y greater than or equal to 0. Why? Because the square of any number cannot be negative. It will always be non-negative. To give you some good news, there are two main constraints that are very common in the exams. Look at this function. f of x is 1 over x minus 2. What is the domain of this function? Domain is the set of all possible input values. Can x take any value here? Yes, all but one value. The domain will be all x except x equal to 2. That's the first constraint. The denominator has to be a non-zero. Cause if it is a zero, then the function will be undefined. Easy? Here's another one. What is the domain of this function? Can we have a negative number within the square root? Well, I don't think we can. So, x minus 3 will be greater than or equal to 0. This means x has to be greater or equal to 3. x can take any value which is greater or equal to 3. That brings us to the second constraint. Even roots can have only non-negative numbers under them. Remember this well. The denominator has to be a non-zero and even roots cannot have a negative number under them. Now for the last problem of this session, find the range of this function. By range, we mean all possible output values. Look at this term. Can it be negative? No. The square of any number will be greater than or equal to 0. So the minimum value of the function will be 0 plus 1 which equals 1. f of x will be greater than or equal to 1 as x squared will be greater than or equal to 0. So that was all about domain and range. But the most interesting concepts related to functions are to do with their graphs. We will see those in the next few sessions.